Um, what's happened? <laughs> what happened? I spent my cheesecake everywhere. My name's Lucy, if you're new here. Um, this is a very quick, impromptu haul, actually. And I have got to be quick because Jade is right here, probably about to pass out with <laughs> hunger. It is nearly quarter to eight <laughs> in, well, in, the, day. in the evening. We didn't fancy the goose day that we've got for tonight. So we quickly decided to go to Morrison's. And Morrison's is actually... The... What? You always start making noise as soon as I press that record button, honestly. Sorry. Yeah, Morrison's is our closest supermarket, but we haven't been in ages. We've enjoyed going to Sainsbury's recently. Um, so I said, let's go Morrison's. I've, I've, I'm aware there's been a few like new things come out. Um, so we thought we'd go and check it out and actually get something for dinner. Um, and we may or may not have got a little bit carried away, as per, and I thought, all this stuff I'm buying. I'm going to have to do a little haul and show you guys some of it is new in i think some of it i mean it's all new in to me because i've never seen any of it before but we haven't been to morrison's for a while like i say so some of it's new in if it's not then i'm sorry and if you've seen it before and you're boring then i'm sorry also um so yeah we'll kick off with now this is like one of them i think is probably more like accidentally vegan which are these skin on fries and i love that morrison's has literally got this massive vegan label right there like it just makes life so much easier um and i love a good skin on fries we always make our chips um with skin on even our mash sometimes actually so oh yeah we have that deliciously early we do don't we is that what she's called? yeah so we're gonna have them with our dinner tonight um and then also for tonight we're gonna have these which i do believe these are new they are shawarma style vegan kebab these look delicious. I think we're gonna have these, aren't we? Yes. Um, so I might actually film when we have it, just so I can give you guys a live taste test. They look really, really good. Um, we've had like the shawarma style kebab meat from the Vivera range. We can do Jim Morris, I thought that was the same for his own. No. Yeah, yeah you can Morris get it ones. everywhere. So um, hopefully these are gonna be really good. Can't wait to try these. These were, £2.50 for four and they are quite decent size as well so £2.50 not too bad pretty average for some kebabs um anyone interested the skin or fries were 85p that's pretty good I'm quite impressed um everything is actually frozen that we've bought apart from them kebabs so I better be quick <laughs> so next up we have these zinger Zinger burgers, they almost look a bit on your bargey to me. They look like on your bargey, don't they? Mm -hmm. They nice. are the Vegilantes brand. That's actually a really cool brand. I've not actually seen this before, have you? Nope. Really cool packaging. Um, and these were three pound. Quite expensive. They were. That's that we're like, oh, three. Price. We were still there at three pound. That's quite a lot. Should we get them? Yeah, bloody yeah, we'll get it. So we got them, and also in that brand, which I think it was also three pounds. And there's one more. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was this salt and pepper, not chicken popcorn? Now that looks insane. I love salt and pepper like flavored things. It's almost like Chinesey. They look really good. Um, and then also in that brand, also three pounds, I believe, are the southern fried wings, and I'm assuming from this mushroom picture, they're like made of like mushroom. Yeah. And Jade's saying, oh, but you like mushrooms now. You're a convert. Stop trying to make mushrooms happen. <laughs> so, yeah, they look really, really good too. They caught my eye first and then everything else. We're like, ooh. Next up, actually, these aren't frozen either. These That's are... what we're having. Yeah, we're having these tonight as well. These, no chicken strips. I don't believe these are new. I think these they've had these for a very long time. Um, these were... £2.50. Quite an average price, I think, for vegan things. I think two fifty to three pound. I think we may have had them before. I'm not too sure. Next up, 
is these no chicken no chick in pops um and they were one pound 75 which is pretty good actually um we tried the linda mccartney chicken bucket didn't we jay you brought it the other day and the popcorn chicken in it was insane, like really, really good. Compared to the strips, the popcorn chicken was really good. And I've seen Co-op have brought out some popcorn chicken, which I want to try. Um, so we saw these and we thought we'd give these a try because I feel like anything southern fried, you just can't go wrong. Love a good southern fried. So we've got these. Like I say, £1.75, pretty good value. Next up, we'd literally walked away from the frozen section and then we saw like the promo bit and we were like, I was like, ooh. We used to love um, like the duck and pancakes you'd get from the Chinese. So I saw this vegetarian shredded hoisin duck. It is vegan approved. I don't think this is that new in either. But I've never tried it. I think my sister has and I think she said it was nice. So I'm going to have to get all the stuff to make these. Um, this was on offer, like I say, it was on the end aisle. And that was £2. I'm not sure how much it should have been. Um, but two pound again, pretty averagely priced. We literally end up spending like forty pounds unintentionally. We wanted a takeaway, and actually, a takeaway would have been cheaper than all of this stuff. But this is obviously a lot of meals, so we've got that. Next up, Jade fancied uh, a roast dinner a while back, didn't you? Mm. And you were like, "Did they do any like?" Jade was like, "Oh, it'd be good if they did some kind of like a, a joint of meat or or something." And I was like, they do. We used to love like the chicken, didn't we? That you used to like baking the bag chicken that we used to get ages ago. We used to love that. And we've never, well, I've never seen it before. Whenever we have roasts now, it's always a pie. Yeah, isn't it? you can't find anything. So um, we went to Sainsbury's. Well, obviously, we've been going to Sainsbury's. We couldn't find it then. And we basically saw this in Morrison's. We thought, quick, get it, stock it up. Let me know if any of you have tried this. It looks. That bread. It looks peculiar, I'm not going to lie. A um, little bit nervous. This is the vegetarian chicken roast. Once again, it is vegan approved, but that looks interesting. Mm. That was probably like five pound. Three pound fifty. Oh, it's okay. not too bad. Four hundred grams. Let me know if you tried this. Nervous. I feel like you need to like drench it in gravy. I mean, we do anyway. Next up, saw so these. Love a good cornetto cone. So. I'm all for it. They had got uh, strawberry ones as well, but I'm not a big yeah, strawberry no. ice cream fan. So we got the chocolate, basically, nut cones, basically, Cornetto. Mm -hmm. um, they were two pounds, not too bad for four. 50p each, can't really go wrong. Keep that in the freezer, cause I don't know about you guys, but if you're living in the UK, we're getting some lovely weather at the minute. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loving it. Just makes you so much happier. When the sun's out. I don't know. And Jade just burns. They're literally like just looking at it for one second. And then last but not least, this was literally the one thing that made me want to go to Morrison's. Um, otherwise I'd have gone Sainsbury's, which I'm glad I did. I was looking around all the fresh section for it. Jade went straight to the frozen section and she knew that they were there and I didn't. So, you know. Obviously I'm more of an accidentally being fan than you are. Uh, yeah, you're just <laughs> way better than me. So these were £2.50 each. We've got the last box of the um, biscuit ones. So these are the Naughty Vegan Cheesecakes. So we've got the Caramel one. Well, what is it? Caramel, caramel Crunch. So basically a biscoff. And then chocolate ones. Can't wait to try these. We were actually meant to look how you defrost them, weren't we? It doesn't matter. Defrost takes three hours. Oh my gosh, the best thing to wait. Who's now? got time to wait that long? I'll eat it. I'll eat it frozen. I mean, we won't. We'll put it in the fridge now. And then, you know, it'll be done for midnight. <laughs> we'll be waiting up. I'm, I'm determined to have this cheesecake. <laughs> I'm gonna wait up. Don't forget to mention the pizza. Which one? You and you had yesterday? Yeah. Jade wanted me to mention. I went out yesterday for pizza actually. Jade brought the Plant Pioneers, so from Sainsbury's, their brand of. Pepperoni pizza? Yeah, pepperoni one, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, did. and it had the, you know, it tells you like spice level. It was the three chilies one. I think it had 
Jalapenies on it? Jalapenies, yeah, and then uh, red chilies on it. So it was spicy. And red chilies. And she basically put her own sweet corn on it. Put some pesto on it as well. Like, this is the most culinary I've ever known Jade to be. I was quite really? impressed when it came home. You don't normally think to do things like that. Well, you know. And I was really impressed. And you said it was really good, didn't you? Yes, I did. It was. It definitely, you should recommend it. Um, I think they've done a margarita one as well. So I'd probably get the margarita one. Maybe I'll have my own little toppings on. Um, and Jade can have the really spicy one. Yes. i definitely recommend Because there wasn't a lot of cheese on it either. And that's what I thought. Oh, God, it's going to be like over the top. Yeah. It was... Um, it was yeah. just like a suggestion of cheese, which I think that's made it better than yeah. the toppings made it better. Yeah, because I went out last night and had a vegan pizza and there was too much cheese on it and I couldn't eat it all. I only ate half and it was just too much. So um, I am definitely agree with Jade there, the less cheese the better. So yeah, we're going to cook all this now, well, not all of it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the way Jade's feeling, it probably will be all of it. Um, but yeah, we're going to cook up what we're going to have and then... I'll show you guys and let you know what we've had and how it is. So see you in a bit. Can you tell that we haven't barely eaten today? <laughs> so we did the chicken strips, the skin on fries and the shawarma kebabs with the lay on goodness garlic mayo, some cucumber and some lettuce. Me and Jade used to have these all the time when we were first together. And we absolutely love a good baguette with some chicken in. <laughs> So we'll let you know once we're done how the kebabs are. Really excited, let me just give them a quick smell. Oh, they smell nice. Right, I'll let you know. Okay, so I've just finished dinner and I look bald right now. <laughs> I do have hair. I do have hair, it's just back here. <laughs> um, yeah, we've just finished dinner. Overall, it was okay. Yeah. So, the chicken things were all right. Just but I think they're slightly overcooked. Yeah, it was my fault. But they were still nice though. Um, the chips. I didn't like them. Could he happily not have them again? Um, didn't really have much about them, did they? They just weren't very tasty. I didn't like them. They just yeah, tasty weren't great. Like, a bit bland. And yeah. They don't have any season on them. Really yeah, if they say they were like skin on, they just. Yeah. Yeah, I would happily not have them again. Um, and then the kebabs. We weren't a fan, guys, I'm afraid. And we were so excited about the dinner as well. Yeah, the dinner overall was a little bit of a fail, to be honest. So we did get out a cheesecake each to defrost. So we do have high hopes for them. Otherwise, it's been a bit of a fail, really. I know, yeah. Otherwise, we're going to have to order a takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> so the kebabs didn't actually have that much flavour. When you, when you took your first bite, you were like... Oh, yeah, we were so like, nice. oh, that's good. We both looked at each other like, oh, yeah, they're nice. And then you took another... Didn't really taste of that much, really, and the texture was just too firm. It was quite rubbery. Yeah, it was really rubbery, actually. It's a really good um, word, actually. Yeah, well, like when you, it's kind of like, like you say, weird texture, but then it's like quite rubbery to bite into. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't rush out to buy them. I mean, people, other people might like them, but. So yeah, the uh, <coughs> baguette was good. Oh, the baguette was. Lay on. Sauce Leon good. sauces absolutely banging. Salad. Lettuce, mint, just the actual main bits. <laughs> the actual rest of it. Slightly slacking, lacking, guys. I'm afraid. I know it brings me so great sadness to tell you this, but um, yeah. We've actually just paused the mass singer. We're so and, far behind. <laughs> yeah, we're really far behind. We've just been pausing it. Um, anybody else loving it? We loved the mass singer. We weren't sure what to think of the mass dancer, but we're really enjoying it. I just love the guessing element, but we've not managed to guess a single one yet, have we? We're absolutely terrible. We managed to guess a few when the mass singer was on, but this one seems so much harder. We got Joss Stone, didn't we, on the mass singer? Who else did we get? Martin McCutcheon, that was because... Aston, Marigold. Yeah, Aston. We did get a few of them. That it has that one was a lot easier. This one's so no, difficult. So Is it, it, and yesterday, they did, oh, I was telling you once when you were out, they did the, oh, I do a preview of The Voice. Sounded nothing like him. Yeah. Well, we didn't give anything away, did it? Ridiculous. So yeah, comment below if you guys have been watching The Masked Dancer, because it's basically our laugh at the minute. Yeah. We literally sit down for The Masked Dancer, we're like, yes! We like pre-paused the TV ready, because we knew we were going to be in Morrison's when it started. So we put the TV on, paused it ready. Yeah, we're that committed. We are, you know, we're going to watch Star tomorrow, thank goodness. And actually see who everybody is. So yeah, this is just a little... <coughs> 
short <laughs> one for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed my little haul. Comment don't, below if you've been watching The Masked Dancer. Don't end it yet because we've got to test the cheesecakes. <gasps> okay. Okay, I'm not going to end it yet. I completely forgot about that. We're going to test the cheesecakes. And then I'll love you and leave you. Yeah. See you in a minute. See you in a bit. <sighs> <laughs> we don't even know if they did frosters, but we just couldn't wait. But what Nicola can't see is a sheer drop on the other side. Mm. Yeah, what Jade just said. Um, it's one of them where you know it's been in two hours nearly, and you think, Oh, yeah, they're in frosted. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So Jade's had the chocolate one. How is it? Lovely. I'll try a bit. Mm. Um, Alright then. Mmm. Really good, isn't it? Mmm. That redeems itself mm. from dinner. Absolutely. That is so nice. Jay's is just the ch plain chocolate one. Mine is the Biscoff one. Well, it doesn't say Biscoff, but it was basically Biscoff. Live taste test. Well, not live, but. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> oh, they're good. Bye. Mm. That is so nice. Is it? Yeah, honestly. 100% recommend them. Although I don't because you'll sell them all out. And this was already the last pack. So, but if you go and buy them, then. Just get normal chocolate. <laughs> but yeah, both really, really good. Like, if I went to get more and they didn't have this one, I'd happily have the chocolate one. 10 out of 10, really, really impressed. Mm. Oh my god, that's so nice. Do you want to try some? Yeah, okay. You don't like Biscoff, but. Oh god, don't tell Anna that. She'll be. She already again. knows, don't worry. She'll be making a tally again of. <laughs> oh, why? What is happening here? Just for you, Anna. That's like a millionaire shortbread, is that what they're called? Mm. Yeah. Love millionaire shortbread. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even exaggerating. No. Worth every penny. Absolutely, if you haven't already, go to Morrison's frozen section and get these cheesecakes mm -hmm. and thank me later basically. Insane. Um, we finished the mass dancer. We kind of semi guessed them too, didn't we? Like yeah. we, we basically heard the judges say their names. We were like, yeah, we think that's right, basically. So you know, halfway kind of guessed it. Who went? Oh yes. Yeah, I remember now. I don't want to say just in case anyone hasn't watched it and yeah. I'm giving it away. We'll wait till tomorrow when it's all finished. So yes, cheesecakes definitely get. Kebabs, I'll let you make your own decision on them. Chicken things, also mm -hmm. same. It's just general chicken strips. Um, I kind of wish we'd have gone for the southern fried ones. Yeah. You just don't know though, do you? No. So yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you here. It is now nearly quarter to ten. And then we're just going to chill out, watch TV. Probably I'll read some of my Kindle. Um, so yeah, hope you are well. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little short vid. And I'll see you very soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Oh my god, I'm on 100 subscribers. Mm. Buzzing! Thank you so much to everyone that's subscribed already. I really appreciate you all. Love you all. Um, and yeah, we'll see you on the next vid. See you later. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what's happened? <laughs> what happened? I spent my cheesecake everywhere. Don't waste it. Keep dropping and everything. Don't waste it. I'm sorry. <sighs> Say bye.